Yeah, I don't know who the fuck to trust. This is my friend or my fault. I must be extra draw. Yeah, she give me that claim as well. I remember back when I was younger, I was happy. Nowadays, feel like no one understands me. I'm good at all this, silly, I'm about to blame me. I remember, I remember. Today we are joined by J-League champion Bryce Gibbs, uh, one of my favourite players growing up in the AFL, always had him on my Supercoach team, now get to do Supercoach basketball with him, so very honoured to have him here today, killing it for South Adelaide. Thank you for joining us, Bryce. Oh, what an absolute pleasure. <laughs> Big fan of the show and rap when I got the call up, so... South are having a ripper year. Second on the ladder. We're going okay. Who's first? Uh, Glenelg. Undefeated. Yeah. You so got them soon? We we'll just them. got knocked off by Glen Elk, so... Did you? It's a little bit too soon. It's a good team at the moment. <laughs> Sorry, good team at the moment. <laughs> but no, you're having a good, you're having a good we'll year too. We'll play them again. We'll play them again, so we'll, we'll save it for the business. Personally, yeah. having a fantastic year. Yeah, you are. Yeah. I was really hoping for a mid-season call-up in the AFL. Kyle said McGarry before uh, you arrived Jeez. today. McGarry form. I'm here just for a light hearted <laughs> chat. You're putting the, the pressure well, on me. What's going on here? No, it's not pressure. You've been doing good. Just keep it going, mate. Yeah. <laughs> just I'm keep doing I'm hanging doing. in for an old fella. I'll, I'll give you that. <laughs> How okay. old are you now? 32. 32. 32. Right. So. That's impressive. Monday's still going. He's 36. We're watching Monday 10. 36, 36 now. He's oh, good. Right. He's, he's getting better. Him and Boki just get better. I think he's about 36. Could we can, be we can run with 36. He's old. He is old. Not the frog. But no, it's good. These young whippets run around. We've got to keep them, you know, keep them honest. How's it going being from being like a young whippersnapper to turning into like... <laughs> no, no, I'm not saying he's old. <laughs> I'm saying as in like old and washed someone out. that they, they look to for advice. How's that transition? Um, I think it's probably really helped me in the last couple of years. Yeah. It kept me, um, probably kept me motivated to keep going. Um, had some struggles with <clears throat> towards the end of my career in the AFL and investing back in those young guys, I think that sort of helped me mm. you know, rock up the training every day with a good attitude, knowing that, you know, working with these kids and they're hanging on to every word you say. So that sort of helped me keep going and um, and they do look up to you do you remember when we all went to the basketball there was a bunch of young i think they were the crow I don't know, they were sample boys, crow. yeah yep. and they were all just hanging on every word he said you know they really look up to you mate so Laz, Laz wouldn't know if they were sample crows afl crows He's got no interest in the crows whatsoever no, so well you know <laughs> that's understandable good luck, power, man. Good luck, good luck to them. but no i could just see the way they were looking at you like they really respected you you could just tell i yeah, remember taking a photo have, of you all and you invest in these kids and you Create great relationships, yeah. so and every that's rewarding. what it's all about. Yeah, for seeing sure. them grow when they do well, get in the team and play well. Yeah, it is certainly rewarding for me. So yeah, it's been uh, and it's something I'm doing at South Adelaide as well. So yeah, so you're like a mentor player there. So or? I'm working in or play development. Play development. Is my title. So yeah, working with all the young kids through the, all their development squads and mm. the young guys in our senior program as well. So who've uh, who've you got your eye on? Any any young lads that you? So, I'm pretty lucky. I'm working with a kid, Jason Horn. He's touted to go in the top three at this stage. Yeah, so, right. The um, next year? This year. This year. So, yeah, I'm claiming that I've taught him everything he knows <laughs> up until this point in time. So, um, yeah, there's obviously some good good kids coming through, but yeah, he's going to be one to look out for and mm. keep an eye on going forward. And I don't think Port will be low enough to get him, unfortunately. No, so. okay. Is he in there? Is he? Is South Adelaide Port's recruiting zone at all or whatever anymore? Or? I think we are actually. I think you are. Yeah. yeah. What is that called? That Academy, side. whatever yeah. it is. Something like that. We yeah. got E-Man from there, Emmanuel. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. So there you go. I remember our night in the basketball, you were very fired up about Jason Horn. Mm. Jason Horn, I remember around. that. Got him on your arm. Yeah, I do. For that night as well. <laughs> <laughs> so you're enjoying your footy again now, though? Yeah, That's I the main thing. I am. Um, yeah, it's mm. amazing what happens when you feel loved and. You feel yeah, loved, mate. Valued again, so it makes it easy. You know, yeah, going back to the sand fort, it's still a pretty big commitment, but I just said I'm just not going to take it too seriously. Just have fun and get a kick, and I think, I think that's what I'm doing. You're getting more than a kick. Mm. You're on fire, mate. Um, yeah, so far, so good. What do you reckon of the lasagna? Could be warmer. I've had some lasagnas in my time, but this lasagna. <laughs> right up there. Lasagna. Beautiful. I'm going to pattern that. Could be a little bit warmer, but then it takes longer to consume, so I'm all about eating cold True. food so you can get it your stomach quicker. Oh, I hate when my grandma cooks dinners up for me and it's just way too hot and you can't eat it. 
Well, well, Gibbs is a, a great football player. He's also great to go out with, as we had a good <laughs> night out. <laughs> I don't know. Lost your thing. Lost your phone. Dude, this didn't take long to bring up, did it? Is that allowed to be on this? <laughs> well, there was Franny, oh, who's a, who's a um, what's of the show. Hello, yeah. Mark. Yeah, look. And they've been good since then, because that's the last time I saw oh, yeah. I'm, I'm just <laughs> recovered, actually. It's been a couple of months, but. Um, yeah, not one of my uh, my finest nights. But that um, was a we've all been there. game. But we. Who did we play? We had fun. a good night. Yeah, it was fun. We sent him home from memory, and we. We yeah, you were. You couldn't get up with us, mate. Yeah, I was done. We needed uh, some more, with some bigger veterans. <laughs> so, what's a career highlight, Bryce? If you had to put into oh. one thing, you've done a lot of things, amazing things. Yeah, absolutely. Um, really think about it. Not too many winning finals, which is that's okay. A little bit disappointing. That, that would have been nice to say, but. Um, I won a best and fairest at Carlton. That, that certainly would be up there. Um, some great names up on that wall at that club who, who won best mm. and fairest. So to be sort of my name be up there with, with those guys, that's going to be pretty special. Something yeah. I'll look back on. Um, that's cool. What else? Obviously, yeah, debuting. That was a, a, a memorable game. Um, had the whole it? crew come over from Adelaide. Um, MCG, Ram 1 versus Richmond. Oh, that's cool. 85,000 people. Kicked a snag with me first kick. Did so, you? How that? Yeah, so wow. that was, that's another memorable, memorable highlight. It sound, that sounds like a really, you know, there's a lot of people that actually kick a goal with their first kick, it seems. You know, it's not, it's not like a very irregular thing. No, it's an exclusive club. It is, it yeah. is exclusive, exclusive, but like club. you still, you think it's way more, more exclusive. exclusive. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm trying to get at. But that's insane. Mm. I have to go and pick one. Yep. How Two years ago now. Yeah, how good. Pick one. Yeah, that's right. Pick one. Yep. That would be the big, getting drafted would be a big Yeah, it was. Big deal. Yeah, it was. Um, I was something I wanted to do from a young age. Yep. Um, and then, yeah, I didn't really think it could be a possibility until I was sort of, I don't know, 14, 15. Started to get a little bit of hype around what I was doing and how that I was playing. So, yeah. So, they can see it, can they? Pretty early. Yeah. They can see yeah. talent there, right? Yeah. So, through the, the junior grades at Glenelg, scouts and all that sort of bizzo. So, yeah, I was, I was just one of the lucky ones. Like, we had some pretty good guys go in that draft. Well, you're not lucky if you get drafted first, mate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, some pretty good names. Well, Selwood. Bokey was in that was, was in that draft. Rewalt, Jack Rewalt, Tom Hawkins. Oh, so wow. some pretty good players oh, yeah. in that in that draft. So big draft. Was Robbie Gray the same draft? Robbie Gray, I reckon, was I reckon as well. And he was the same as Bokey. Yeah. So West off. Wow, man, you got a year ahead of some some big names there. Awesome. That's something that's up on the on the wall too, man. Mm. They could be proud of. Yeah. yeah. Tell your kids. Bloody oh, yeah. hell. So, and there's a yeah, lot of pressure it. on the, the guys that get picked one every year, but you've uh, managed to go on and have an amazing career. Yeah, I have, and I'm very lucky. You, know, you need a bit of luck along the way, and injuries and form and whatnot. So, yeah, I played. Never had any big injuries? I've had a few over the journey, but um, nothing that's kept me out for too long. So, that's good. yeah, compared to some guys have horrific runs and just can't get their body right. So, you know, when you look at getting an opportunity to be on the park for the best part of 14 years. It's pretty impressive. Pretty lucky, so it's yeah, we're very, very proud of it. And 14 years, but Yeah, know. it's gone pretty quick. Well, the, the average, time. we would say the average is four years. Average uh, football player, yeah, what is like four years or something I think like three to four years. So, three to four years, that's so, really crazy, yeah. man. Yeah. yeah, so. What about any low lights that you're not, you, you know, you wish didn't happen or you, you would have changed or you, you don't, there's nothing that you, He's going somewhere? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. I've got low lights of my yeah, No, oh, absolutely. Like any Well you like no regrets that happen, you, you might oh, I certainly your... don't have any regrets over my career, mm. but yeah, there's certainly you ride the roller coaster, it's yeah. not all smooth sailing and you go through some adversities and yeah, towards the back end of the career it sort of didn't pan out how I thought it would. Um but that's the way it goes sometimes and yeah, when I look back yeah. over over my career, over a fourteen year career. Uh, I certainly can't complain. Well, that's the thing. If you have a 14-year career, you're not happy with the last year or two, 
I mean, really, in the scheme of things, it's not that big a percentage, is it? Mm. Positive so, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So, um, when you're happy now, and the, you know you, the boys around you get around you, don't they? So yeah, oh, I've been lucky enough good. to have a, a great support network around me, family and close friends. So you know, when you are struggling through those times, you lean on these people, and 100%. they help you get through it. So yeah, I've been very lucky in that sense as well. I think it's um, it's pretty good you're able to stay so humble about it all. Yeah. And just work and, and realise it's all part of the plan. It's all meant to be, isn't it? It's yeah. Way. As I said before, some guys have so much talent and through injury and whatnot just don't get an opportunity to, to yeah, play yeah. or to mm. show everyone what they can do. So I was we, just lucky enough have a beer? to get the opportunity. So Let's have a beer. For old time's sake. For old time's sake. One beer with Bryce can turn into a few. Yeah, I'm, I'm a bit scared to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Bruce, Bruce might come out. Yeah, Bruce. He'll <laughs> <laughs> uh, be rocking up tomorrow. Is props a better cold? Discuss it. I would again choose cold. What about lasagna? Is that better cold too? <laughs> well, well, you tell me. Oh, <laughs> I thought it felt warmer. The dish felt warmer. Oh well. See, this is where we need a female with the mates and plates. We need a woman's touch. <laughs> I don't think we do. I think we do. It's pretty impressive, isn't it? It's good, isn't it? Brighton Trophy, son. Did that. Thank you, guys. Nice. So what about some other extracurricular? What's some stuff you like doing outside of footy, man? Um, as mentioned before, a big basketball fantasy fan. Yes. That's, Are we going to touch on that now? There's been a lot of weekly social media hoopla around you and yeah. the K-League. Yeah. Um, Let's hear about it. <laughs> Let's hear about it. So you're obviously involved in a pretty serious fantasy competition. Um, pride is probably the... the okay, so there's no prize? No prize, just... Right. Pride. You get a trophy. You do get a trophy, but that's something. It's, yeah, taken, it's taken pretty seriously, put that way. Very seriously. Yeah. It's funny when people say I play fantasy basketball. I'm like, no, you don't. Oh, we yeah, no idea. Because I've played fantasy basketball for a long time until I joined this league. Really? And it's and full it's on. Like, it's all day, every day for 365 days. Wow. <laughs> Never sleep. Does not sleep. Any Never fights? Sleep. Plenty, so of, plenty of fights. Plenty really? Of fights. Arguments? Or plenty actual of fights. Bryce and I had a fight for the basketball that night. We were there actually all together because Bryce shook on a trade with me. Uh, the Amazon guys, luckily we were all mic'd up so the audio caught, caught that. I just need to get around to getting the audio from them. And, uh, prove it. Yeah, exactly. I will prove it. <laughs> had that. And then I've had P.O. rob my picks recently, which is a bit disappointing, but what do you do? You on? do understand there's a bit of pressure on you now. There's a lot of pressure on me. So I always... What was the trade? Not so much for the trade. You know the trade. I, I so we should remember. Go. I can't remember. <laughs> there was a no stake to be making any trades that night, mate. This was really, this would have been the first quarter of the basketball. I'm actually more talking about the pressure that I was a, um, a franchise, a, a new franchise that came to the league. Okay. And I won a chip within three years. I mean, you're going into your third, third year as, a, as an expansion team this year. I'm That's rebuilding. all I'm going to say. Yeah, yeah, it is, like, it is. It's, You're yeah, in a rebuild already. Something to shoot yeah. for, Three years in, I'm rebuild. all about the kids. It'll get to draft day. I've got a pretty solid team at the moment. I think I've probably got the second best team in the league at the moment on paper. Going off averages. Yeah, okay. And uh, it'll get to draft day, and I won't be able to help myself, but I want to take all these young kids again. We might have to film a bit of this. Do you all sit together? Yeah. Well, we all sat here last year. I'm not very good at in the draft. Bryce is terrible at drafting. I'm not drafting very well. <laughs> right. For you fantasy guys out there that like it, Bryce had pick three and pick six last year. He took Larry Marketing with pick three and then followed it up with Hassan Whiteside. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, These oh, guys don't yeah. even know fantasy. Yeah, look. <laughs> Speaking about highlights of my career, that's not one of them. <laughs> that was a low light. Oh. And then Bryce was the first to leave. And then so, as soon as the door closed, everyone was like, did anyone else see what Bryce has just done today? <laughs> yeah, he went on and won a chip. That's what he did. <laughs> and he won. It was incredible. <laughs> Talk about uh, Amazon documentaries. No. I, I feel like Bryce and the Brody will get their own Maybe they Amazon need one. documentary. A win a few more in a row. I reckon you'll, yeah. you'll probably deserve one. That's how big the league is. No one will ever understand how big the yeah. league is and how important it is, but... How many people do it? There's 12 of us now. But put it this way, I'd rather win a chip this year than win Olympic gold medal. <laughs> That's how seriously it is. <laughs> I missed playoffs this year after I decided to trade away and try and push for the playoffs in my last week mm. in the comp. <laughs> and it really backfired, obviously, because I left it to the last week. And 
I've lost. I've, I've lost a lot of sleep since then. I <laughs> yeah, but one cool. of my players I traded to you in the last couple of days, and we end up winning a chip. So happy days. Big drag. Con- we do, we've got that connection. We life. do. We look after each other. We do. So I'm hoping that Bryce will look after me this year anyway, which is exciting. Well, if you want that, stop trying to make deals with him when he's had a few beers. <laughs> yeah. It was the other way around. He's attacked me with it. D low for Chris Middleton in the third. I'm done. Whatever. Let's do it. You probably wish you took That's that down. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll be happy with that. Yeah, you probably would. Yeah. I reckon you probably offer it up to. Thanks for, Thanks coming for having on. me. Thanks for coming on. Offer it up to uh, to Piero, and you probably go all right. It's and the sad thing is it's Piero's. Franchise player now. Yeah, later. That's all. He's, I think that's all he's got. I try. I traded this. I traded Miles Bridges from Charlotte to Piero as like a. Oh, I don't need this guy. Can I just you know top up? And he's a keeper for Piero now. <laughs> <laughs> it's no good. But there's one franchise that really struggles out there that we all know. And, do you want to mention that sauce. franchise name? <laughs> yeah, big sauce. There's actually a couple, but poor, poor Cosy. <laughs> yeah, poor Cosy. Firstly. Poor sauce. <laughs> <laughs> and the highest points for this year and didn't make the playoffs. Yeah. We'll be getting the sauce on here. We will be getting the sauce on here at some point. He's just a busy bloody man these days. And we've got bigger priorities at the yeah. moment. Yeah. Bigger days. It's hard to get hold of. We want to pick we won't pick one in the AFL draft, not pick one in the rookie draft. Well I did go pick one in the rookie draft this year. As well. <laughs> I saw that actually. <laughs> I remember yeah. sitting there watching the rookie oh. draft and be like, pick one Bryce Gibbs. What the fuck's going on? Messaging Saw straight away going, what is going on? But, no, I don't want to go back. Yeah. <laughs> so imagine that. What else have you got to fire off with, Laz? Me? Yeah. Um, well we had a few fan questions. You wanna get in some of that? What about your most intense game you've ever played in? Obviously you would have had some rivalries over your time and you're oh, like, God, I hate question. playing against. I don't know, um Probably there was a oh, there's a period through my career where I did some tagging, yeah, um, and tagged sort of yeah their best midfielder at the time, um, and the intense games were, and probably he was the best player I've actually played on would have been Adam Goods. That's cool. So we played. There's about a three year period where every time we played Sydney, it was like give her straight to Goodsy. Put on the calendar. Um, and you know when you're playing against the guy who can run, jump, mark. He plays every quick, position. Multi yeah. position, like. Did he start his career as a ruckman? I think he did. Yeah. Um, I think he did. Those games were pretty, pretty hard, pretty yeah. intense. So and Sydney were really good in that. They, they were flying yeah. through that yeah. that time, so they were always tough games to play. Yeah. Is there a game that kind of sticks out in your memory that's like your favourite game you've ever played in, or? Uh, a couple of Cade Simpson's milestone games come to oh, memory yeah. straight up. Um, we all know. Cade's such a cup champion and um, through our career, I think, well, I think he's got the record, which is the record that you don't want in the AFL of most losses. Has he? Is it? Like, it <laughs> someone's ever had, so. Um, mm. And at Carlton, we didn't win a lot. Um, for a few, for the, for the years I was <laughs> there, there. So, but there. you had fun. <laughs> so those, those <laughs> milestone games, we actually won in really close games in the last quarter when it's, you know, total neck and neck and um, could go either way. Those games that we actually got over the line, um, which were really intense games, and yeah. for him, well, we won it for him. That's a pretty special feeling yeah. at the end of it. And there's your humble self pointing out a teammate's no, successes well, over yourself. Yeah, Is he your favourite teammate you played with? Or you he's certainly up there. Yeah. yeah. Um, Mark Murphy's another one. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'll, you make friends for life through the AFL and. Playing with these guys for you know, 13, 14 years and mm. just become best mates and mm-hmm. especially li- leaving my Adelaide, um, all my schoolmates and stuff, you know, they instantly become mm-hmm. your second family and um, yeah, it's pretty pretty special. What about Eddie? Mates. You played with him, yep. Carlton, played with him in Adelaide. Yeah, he's another one. You know each other like the back of your hand. Yeah, it was so good to reunite with him yeah. back in Adelaide. Um, Lovely guy, Eddie. Had the best seats in the house watching him. Yeah. <laughs> Kick snags from the boundary. So he's still doing it. He is still You're doing it. You're a freak, mate. You're a freak. We'll get him on. So Hopefully we'll get the head man on. What about Juddy? Growing up, Juddy was my favourite player. Was he? Behind you. <laughs> <laughs> Juddy was my favourite player. Was he? Yeah, I'd still put him with next to Kim. He was class. Yeah, yeah. Why, looking back, like, what an unbelievable opportunity we had. And at the time, like we knew it was big, but yeah. now we can reflect on what it was actually to like, ha- like mm. to have Chris Jordan as a teammate and as one of the all-time to, legends, man, to yeah. follow and and sort of just do what he do, did. Um, it's 
so lucky. Like, and all these guys the have such a big, yeah, they have such a big work ethic, and you know, I'm sure he did like went far a bit above and beyond. Yeah, oh, he was meticulous awesome. with everything. Yeah, he did. I oh, bet he was. So the, just being well, around that is good. Last yeah. to leave, sort of thing. It wasn't. His podcasts are great to listen to. Was he on podcast? Was, well, I mean, he did one with Dil Buckley recently. I was listening to, and it was um, just after the Essendon supplement saga had happened, and he went down to. The chemist and asked for like a needle disposal box because he was doing all his own dry oh, needle no. at home, like he'd do his shoulders and groins yeah. and stuff. It just sounds like just get someone else to do doing it, it before yeah. his time. <laughs> yeah, no, he was he was very impressive, and yeah. he certainly taught out all us young Carlton guys when coming through that this is how you work hard, this is how you train hard, and then yeah. you go out and just dominate on the weekend and, and lead by example. So yeah. he, was, he was special. Mm-hmm. Cross class with some serious players in your time. Yeah. Yep. Daniel Savola. Oh, yeah. Nick Stevens. We've got a couple of good ones. <laughs> Nick Stevens. Is <laughs> he in jail? Oh, my God. Is yeah, he? We probably don't need to add that in. Really. Don't put that in there. <laughs> yeah. What did he do? What did he do? <laughs> I don't know. I think he was coaching me at Glenelg when I was out there. I think he's still up to a bit of mischief. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't know. What was it that you wanted to ask? A fan question. There's a few fan questions. Yeah. Well, a lot of it's about like what's a better club, Carlton or Adelaide. Well, I'm sure they're good in different ways. Yeah. I mean. Yeah, absolutely. Um, well, yeah, over a 14 year, year career, I spent 11 at Carlton, and then three out of four as I retired a year with a year to go on my contract. So, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm certainly a Carlton person. Yeah. Over over that we if you look at it as a whole, but yeah, the opportunity to come back to Adelaide. Um, my family's here. My my wife's family's here. Got a young yeah, family. Here, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So to get back and finish my career in front of them, and um, at the time Adelaide had just come off a grand final appearance. So mm-hmm. um, yeah, the opportunity to play in a potential successful side was something that appealed to me. And um, yeah, so sort of well noted didn't sort of quite go to plan, but um, yeah, both. Both was lucky enough to have the opportunity to play at both, but um, yeah, very, very different. I do remember when you came, so that was just after the granny, yeah? And everyone touted you as like the missing cog to the premiership. Is that a lot of pressure? Did you find that? Oh, I, um, I thought, I saw things like that. I thought that's a yeah, lot of pressure on one guy. It, it's a team sport. Maybe here in Adelaide, Adelaide media can yeah, they blow things it up. up a bit yeah. more than they need to, but they were probably a year too late. Like the okay. track where they. Oh, that's right. Wanted to trade to go the, year before, the year before, and they couldn't work oh, out right. a deal. So um, they went on to make the granny and, and lost. And I was still having a kick at Carlton, so mm-hmm. might have been might have been a little bit different if it had gone through the year before. So they're not going to claim a all the no. flag, but um, it could have been different. It just I feel like for you guys, it's a lot of pressure for, to be put on one person in a big team sport with eighteen guys on the field. To be the missing piece to a team that should win, you know. Yeah. So, well, again, unfortunately, footy Australia's footy dominated in the media, and especially at SA. When yeah. things like this happen um, over the years, it's not a whole lot of big recruits have come to Adelaide um, to play footy. So, it was, yeah, was that's a true. bit of a unique yeah. situation. And that's fair. Being from Adelaide as well, um, there was a bit of yeah, a bit of hype about it, but. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they they quickly to get on you and pump you up, and then they're just as quick to oh, I've seen it, mate. get in here as well <laughs> when it didn't go to plan. Yeah, so, yeah. but again, that's all part of it. That's what you sign up for. And Big source loved it. The punches sometimes. He was excited. He did. Yeah. He he actually had a bit of a hand in Played getting the over. Too. I remember catching yeah. up with him the day you must have been in town and caught up with him for a coffee, kind of just after they'd lost the greening or something, maybe. Me hitting the cross. And he was just so pumped, he could wipe the smile off his yeah. face, how excited so he was to you across. we were drafting the same year, and then um, we lived together for a couple of years as well. Oh, right, right. seriously. In Melbourne, yeah. so that's where our friendship started, and um, obviously kept in contact through yeah. all those years he was back here in Adelaide. And yeah, he was, he was, he'd was he been in my ear a few times over my career when I was coming out of contract. Come down. Like, come on, you, you're coming yeah, over, yeah. Like, yeah, we're, get, we're getting this done. So um, yeah, he, he's another one to reunite with him. Yeah, yeah, I forgot about him too. Special, so, as well, um, yeah, our friendship goes way back, and 
he's still trying to he's trying to get me down hard rice in there. Trying to knock everyone down. Everyone, 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 everyone having to kick down there. Some <laughs> lads will be down there, I reckon, at some point. Lads is down there, so. I'll have a kick, mate. <laughs> Slot in a full back. Yeah, I was full forward. There you go. When I was a kid. They could use a solo. They've got a pretty good full you forward. Know, 30 years ago. Because a lot of our J-League players. Big Piro. I went down and watched him play, kick one goal six. I'll be a little bit like his fantasies. <laughs> <laughs> So what, what about, uh, are you got a couple of years in the sample? What do you want to do? Do you know yet? Or? Yeah, I think I'm just going to take it as it comes. Yeah. Um, the rig's still feeling pretty good. Is it? Um, good. Now the mind's sort of back, fresh and happy and what, again. That, that makes it easier. But yeah, I'm still feel like I've got another year or two in me. So, yeah. well, do you want to stick with footy later or do you know? Or you... Well, I think taking this job opportunity um, That'll help me work that out, I think. I wanted mm. to stay in footy and see if that was something that I wanted to potentially pursue. So, um, you know, the passion is certainly there to work with young sure. young guys and help develop them. And That was a fan question, if they if you'd consider coaching. Yeah, well, I think doing this role will help me work that out. Yeah, great. Um, me be a great coach. Yeah, and naturally in the senior program as well, working with their midfield and mm. coaching, sort of help coaching those guys as well has been something I've enjoyed. So, mm -hmm. yeah, look, it's something that could be on the cards, so we'll see how it pans out. It's very rewarding. I, as I've tattooed for a long time, as I get into you know a lot of experience, I love mentoring younger people. I really get a lot out of it, seeing them grow. It's really rewarding. So if you could do that for a long time, it'd be great for you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it'd be, be sad if I didn't give back in some mm. way, shape or form. Um, you know, a lot of experience and, and stories and knowledge I suppose to, to pass on certainly don't great, claim man. I don't know everything but um, yeah, if I can pass on something that some kids can take away and it helps if it helps their development or their career well happy days awesome have you seen this I haven't seen this have no. you seen what people do with this part of the show no I haven't you've got to draw yourself <laughs> okay you so, can draw yourself <laughs> yeah you've got to draw a picture of yourself people have half cheated and they've looked on their phone at a photo you can do that if you want. Okay. Are you going to draw it? <laughs> no, I'm a t terrible well, guy. You drew a stick figure. People draw a stick figure. Yeah, Stefan Mork drew a, just a thing. Mm. Well, <laughs> so do what you want. All right. But we're going to auction and sell them for a charity. So we're going to get them all on a board with our logo in the middle or something and um, sell it for something. Yeah. Kids with, chari uh, kids with cancer, I think. What about ha haircut wise? You've had some good haircuts in your time. Would you, would you would have copped it. I still the... think I'm yet to have a good air cut. <laughs> I think right now you bloody, you're on it. Short back and side. Leave the top. It's hard That's to all go you ask for. You would have copped it when you run around that in the footy with a man bun or something like that. Surely the other boys get, a, get up you. The sad thing is, at the time I thought I was killing it. <laughs> well, maybe you're looking back. back. I loved back. last year when COVID happened, you came back with the white hair. Yeah, that was the greatest thing. I've seen some blonde. You see the Crows boys back in training. I've, I've always got my eyes out for Gibbs ears. Like, there he is, he stands out. Well, it was my moment to, because I was in and out of the side. I'm like, I've got to do something to stand out. Like, <laughs> exactly. I'm, not getting, I'm not getting noticed here. Like, what can I do? <laughs> yeah. like, I'm going to run with you, see what happens. <laughs> It was a popular thing in the AFL. Did the opposition ever get up you about your hair? I feel like such an um, easy target. You know, a couple of people tried to pull the bone out during the game. Yeah. All right, who? <laughs> oh really? Yeah. So, what was your best sledge you ever gave or ever had? Yeah. Can you talk about sledges? Or is that be controversial? Nah, I was one to keep my mouth shut until like if someone baited me, then yeah. I'd, I'd I'd be you. happily. I reckon you'd be back, pretty good. But actually. I'd yeah. lie, because now, in my time in the AFL, that was, yeah. I've found myself on the lip a lot more in the SNFL <laughs> this year. more comfortable. So, well, You're a being targeted too. a couple of games, and I'm like, boys, come on, I'm, I don't need this. Yeah. Like, <laughs> but I've tried to st stir the pot a little bit, so, um, Good which man. has been unlike me, but uh, I've certainly enjoyed that as well. So. Yeah, <laughs> keep it interesting. Yeah. Do you know who the, the best sledger a lot of the boys say was? Dusty Montfries. Okay. Apparently he would find out things about their life or something that happened when they were a kid that someone teased them about. He'd do his, He'd do his real homework. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah. Right. Real little smart ass. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm it's pressure. Do you wanna do you look at your photo nah. on your phone? So pretty much just no. Nah. Draw yourself. Confident. Right. What, nice. ha what haircut are we gonna run with? I reckon um I reckon the man bun would be a good be a good drawing. Oh. So just put your name on the top. 
Bryce Gibbs because no one will know. But the man bun finished in a really good way. You did up shave it for charity. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. Well, oh, right. Yeah. yeah, cool. Great to shave. Raise some money. Good no, just um, just through the club. Okay. Yeah. Raised about thirty grand. Did to you? Get a haircut, That's so. awesome, man. Yeah. yeah. Went to um, the Crows Children's Foundation and uh, Dementia good. Australia. So Excellent. Yeah. Really cool. Well done. That's a good idea. All right, we'll go. We'll go the man bun, eh? Go the man bun. Yeah, we've had some shocking drawers on well, here that time. We had a good last one. This, this is going to be another one. one. Uh, Trav. Oh, yeah, Trav. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Hey, G. That, that looks more like me. <laughs> 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 That's oh, the neck. What am I... <laughs> <laughs> At least you're happy. Oh, I've made some plates. Of course I'm happy. I'm telling you, mate, you, you're probably in the top 50% so far. Yeah. At least. I got added Bryce Gibbs. Bruce Lee. <laughs> Bruce Lee. <laughs> Make your handwriting, mate. It is cool. Very good right? handwriting. Yeah, she's a bit of a. Yeah. It's a little quick, little quick man. <laughs> That's fantastic. So, that is great. That is just... <laughs> <laughs> well, Bryce, great to see you again, mate. Thanks for popping in. Hope you enjoyed the lasagna. A lasagne, as well, you call it. Lasagne. <laughs> and um, I hope South, I reckon you're going to get there this year. I hope you have a great year. Thanks, Les. And um, we really appreciate you popping by. That was a fun one. That was a fun one. All right, mate. Thanks, Les. Thank you very much. Thanks, Thank Carl. you, Legend. Anytime. Pleasure.